What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. And in this video, what we're gonna do is prove that this function here is odd. f of x equals one minus three to the power of two over x over one plus three to the power of two over x. So this question is gonna be a little unique. The algebra is gonna be unique. We haven't dealt with a function like this yet when we're dealing with symmetry. But we know that if we're trying to prove that a function is odd, we gotta show that f of negative x equals negative f of x. So if we could show that this holds with this function, then we know it's odd. So first thing I'm gonna get an expression for is this negative f of x. I feel like that's easier to do. So negative f of x, f of x is all of that. So we would just put, rewrite that function here in this big bracket. And then this negative here, you could either distribute it to the denominator or the numerator. You can't do it to both. I'm gonna distribute it to the numerator just because all of these signs are positive here. And here we have a negative sign. So this, is, this positive one's gonna turn into a negative one. And then this minus three to the power two over x is gonna become positive. So what this would end up being is three to the power of two over x minus one all over and then this is going to stay as is. And just to kind of keep it in that same format, I'm gonna put that three to the power two over x in front. All right, it doesn't matter which way you write it, I'm just gonna write it this way. So this expression here is negative f of x. And basically all we did was we changed the signs in the numerator. But now the trickier part is we gotta get an expression for f of negative x. And we gotta prove or show that that expression is gonna equal this here. So f of negative x, what we would do is we would just plug in negative x for all the x's. So we would end up with one minus three to the power of two over negative x over one plus three to the power of two over negative x, like that. And this we can rewrite, I'm gonna continue it here, just give myself some room. Instead of putting the negative in the denominator, I'm gonna put it in the numerator, just kind of make it look nicer. Like that. Problem is, is that this is a lot, is uh, pretty far to this, because notice we got this negative in the exponents and here the exponents are positive. So what we gotta do is we gotta start algebraically working with this. Now we know in general that if we have a negative exponent, we can rewrite this as one over that same base to the power of the positive exponent. And so that's what I'm gonna do here. This three is like this a, and then this negative two to the power of x is like this whole negative b here. So I can take this and I can rewrite it as one minus one over three to the power of positive two over x over one plus one over three to the power of um, two over x. Like that. So all I did was I took these negative exponents and I brought them down and then the exponents turn positive. And then what you wanna do here is you wanna combine these into one fraction. You wanna combine this into one fraction and then this into one fraction. So what I'm gonna do is notice that the, uh, to combine them into one fraction, you need a common denominator, which would be three to the power of two over x. So this one here, I can rewrite as three to the power of two over x over three to the power of two over x and then I'd be subtracting this. This is like one over here. And then same thing with this one. I could rewrite that as three to the power of two over x over three to the power of two over x. And that is a plus right there. All right, so this could maybe be like your next line in your page. I'm just gonna do it over here just to save some room. And so now we got common denominators. We can combine these into one fraction. So I'm gonna continue this over here. So this would end up being three to the power of two over x minus one over three to the power of two over x, right? So this bracket ended up being this, and then I'm gonna divide it by this. So this would be 
3 to the power of 2 over x uh, plus 1 over 3 to the power of 2 over x, like that. So I'm taking this fraction, dividing it by this one. And so hopefully, from here you can see that this and this are going to cancel out. So what we can do is, if we're dividing fractions, we can take that first fraction, keep it the same. And we can multiply it by the reciprocal of this fraction. So this would be 3 to the power 2 over x all over 3 to the power 2 over x plus 1. And then notice this and that are going to cancel out. And so continuing this over here, this would end up being 3 to the power of 2 over x minus 1 over 3 to the power of 2 over x plus 1. Right, so f of negative x simplifies to that. And notice that this is the exact same thing as this. Right, so negative f of x is this. f of negative x with all this algebra ended up being that as well. And so we proved that f of negative x equals negative f of x. And so what that means is f of x is odd. Right, so as I mentioned, this one was pretty crazy, a lot of algebra, but uh, it was a pretty unique example. A student sent me it, so thought I would make a video to it.